Okay, so today we are taking a look at one of the new cards that has been making quite a splash in a lot of different formats. It's Orcish Bowmasters. Uh, this is the 2-mana 1-1 with Flash that on ETB uh, deals a damage to any target and allows you to amass Orcs 1. It also does that when your opponent draws their second or later card each turn. So this is going to be a deck that tries to punish our opponent for drawing cards and maybe tries to make both players draw in their turn in order to trigger the Bowmasters again. Um, so this has been a pretty format redefining card in certain uh, formats such as Legacy. Uh, in Historic I don't think we've seen as much uh, from this card but it's still pretty good. Um, it is essentially a similar effect to Shieldred which has been another very strong mono black card. Um, which is basically taxing your opponent for the draws that they make in terms of life. And uh, Orcish Bowmasters can not only uh, drain your opponent for life, it can also make some threats for them to deal with. Um, so the idea here is to get one of your Shieldred the Apocalypse, Orcish Bowmasters out. Uh, and then we want to do things that make our opponents draw cards. Uh, we're running two Gyre Reach Sanitariums that can make both us and our opponent draw a card in their turn, which would trigger our things. Um, and then we have uh, other things like Fairy Mastermind's Activated Ability, and we have the Memory side of Commit to Memory. And I guess for that um, purpose, we also have Peer into the Abyss, which is the combo in this deck with either Shieldred or Orcish Bowmasters. Um, okay, so basically what we want to do is, uh, oh yeah, so I, I mentioned Orcish Bowmasters and Shieldred, but we also have Underworld Dreams here as another option. Uh, the reason why I've chosen to run this one as a two of is because it is both something that deals damage to our opponent, but it also provides three pips for our three Nykthos Shrine to Nyxes, um, which are going to potentially help us ramp into our Peer into the Abyss or uh, Memory side of Commit. Uh, other than the draw punishment of this deck, we are a Fading Hope deck that can uh, remove early game threats. We're a Mind Spike deck to try to deal with our opponent's problem permanence or spells that can be answered by things like Shieldred's Edict and Fading Hope. And other than that, we're basically just trying to land our things on the board, deal damage to our opponent, and kill them before they can kill us. Uh, that is more or less the deck, and I've just realized that I am four cards uh, too little. And I think that was because I either wanted to... I think I wanted to add... Um, what is it called? Fatal Push. That's what it was. So we'll go ahead and add in our, three fat or our four Fatal Pushes, and then I think we'll just go ahead and hop into this league here. Uh, real quick, if you guys have been enjoying the content lately, I hope you'll consider subscribing and dropping a like on this video. Helps me out a bunch. Uh, anyways, let's hop into some games with our Orcish Bowmasters uh, Demir deck. Here we go. Funnily enough, I actually forgot to mention that this is a mostly flash deck, so we can play almost entirely at instant speed, which is pretty good. Um, let's see, how do we feel about this hand? I have a turn to Fairy Mastermind, so I will probably lead off of a Mind Spike using my Underground River and then get a Fairy Mastermind out. We also have Fading Hope if something slips through the cracks. Let's play this, we'll take a life. We'll take three life, essentially. Uh, opponent is just Seal from Existencing. Given that this has double pips, I imagine this is Mono White possibly white plus some other splash color but it looks like we're mainly dealing with a white deck and this is maybe humans or death and taxes because this seems kind of like a prison style of card the opponent shows a voice of the blessed which is honestly kind of confusing to me we're gonna hold up our fairy masterminds and try to get those to come out i will probably take a one for one trade with voice of the blessed We'll see. I don't know how much life gain this deck is going to be going for, though. So it definitely is mono white, and they find a Daxos. Okay. Authority of the consoles. I'll flash in a Fairy Mastermind to make sure that this thing can block. Opponent will probably not go in in this case. Okay. And let's see, I'm going to probably start getting closer towards that Underworld Dream, so I will play out a Watery Grave, and I think we will let that come in tapped. So that means next turn we can Underworld Dreams with uh, Fading Hope held up, if we use our Fabled Passage. Annex Sentry, okay. 
this is okay. They're gonna grow their voice to the blessed. It's not the end of the world. We'll let them do it. And a soul warden now. So our opponent has some annoying creatures to deal with, that's for sure. I think I'm gonna have to fading hope this almost certainly. So let's go ahead and fading hope. Or do I just take six right now? I think I do take six right now. We'll get a bigger fairy mastermind out. Or we'll uh, grow their voice of the blessed, but we will get our own creature out. Okay, and now Fatal Push can take out Voice of the Blessed, which is even better, so I think I will probably just do this. We're going to search out a black mana. Oh, I'm going to have to Fading Hope it, actually, because Underworld Dreams takes uh, all of my mana. We go to 10, and this will be a Fading Hope on the Voice of the Blessed. They start to take some damage, so hopefully Underworld Dreams will uh, get to them. And I'm trying to start to look at how much mana I can produce in case I rip the uh, one of Peer into the Abyss. Seems like it's probably not going to happen the way that I'm hoping, but, you know, never say never. Nope, didn't realize I had priority, sure. Uh, we will let them do their thing. This thing has six counters on it, which means that I am probably going to need to Fading Hope it now. Okay, so they swing in with everything. We're going to give them back their Voice of the Blessed. I will take three damage. That seems fine. And another Fairy Mastermind is not what I want. I won't block gonna need to save this for another trump block potentially they're at 27 life so i might just need to kill speaker of the heavens honestly let's see what we draw this is a commit to memory play all of a sudden so i can commit plus fatal push and then potentially my next turn it can be um hmm do I care about the voice of the blessed that badly? I think I need to kill the speaker because if that comes back, they can just start making more bodies. So we'll kill this and then we'll use voice of the blessed uh, as our commit target. Okay. They're down to 27. Skrelv's Hive. And we will commit their voice of the blessed. Giving them no blocks. And another commit is good. I'll go ahead and pass turn. We do need to block or we need to uh, bring something back by bouncing the Annex Sentry. They gain some life, that hurts. We're maintaining them having 27. Non-token creatures get plus one, plus one in Vigilance, okay. I'm thinking that maybe getting rid of their Annex Sentry might be good, because I'm thinking I'm going to need another blocker. Um, let's get rid of the Annex Sentry for now. I'd like to have this creature on the board. So I do need to chump with one of my Fairy Masterminds. I suppose I could have just bounced the always, or I could have uh, tucked the always watching, but it's okay. So now we're stuck because we're gonna go to one here. Um, we can deal a damage to our opponent with Fairy Mastermind. I'll just pass turn, I think. <clears throat> Okay, they're going to cast their Voice of the Blessed, and I am going to, I believe, just Fatal Push Daxos. We're going to trade for Soul Warden, and then be stuck. Now, I can draw an extra card for myself to try to find something. 
but this is going to be a problem because I might draw them into something that they can use. We're going to have to do it anyway. Underworld Dreams, that's honestly not the move unless I'm able to find something better. Folio of Fancies doesn't grow my life total. And so now we got to find some removal here in the next uh, little turn. We find our land. <laughs> Unfortunately, this doesn't gain me any life. Um, am I stuck? I think I might just be stuck here. Drawing stuff with folio. No, nope. I'll just probably memory and then see what I would have drawn. Okay, so there's the shieldred that we did need. Um, and unfortunately, this just does seven damage to our opponent. So they're still above their starting life total. And we will probably just concede this one. So we weren't able to quite put the combo together, but uh, maybe next game we'll be able to do it. Let's hop into round two. Okay. Round two coming up. We have Orcish Bowmasters in hand this time. Makes me feel a little better, I'd say. Uh, I am inclined to keep this one. Let's give it a try. Watery Grave can bounce something on turn two or turn one. I don't think they're going to play anything that good. Monarch Veteran, so it is life gain. Fading Hope will be good after all. And ooh, we get to use Orcish Bowmasters today, which is going to be nice. Uh, so it's a Voice of the Blessed. So what I'm going to do is Orcish Bowmasters in now. We're going to kill this. And last one, they play Voice of the Blessed. Um, and now my next turn is going to look like Shieldred's Edict. Or I can just Edict them now. And then that means I get to attack in with my creatures. Well, that felt really clean. That's awesome. I like that. And now we have another Orcish Bowmasters as well. And then if we can get high enough, we do have Peer into the Abyss to kill. Um, let's see. So we can swing in with the Orc Army. This will be a trade. So we can Orcish Bowmasters. Swing in, because the Orc Army will grow and trade, we will just do this at the face. And alright, we've dealt with two Voices of the Blessed so far. Go Orcish Bowmasters. If we draw one more land, we get the commit set up, which is good. And we still are holding up Fading Light. Or Fading Hope. Um, let's just send this Cleric back be a bit of a problem for our opponent. We do need that last land, so we can't take a Shieldred. Um, wow, we just got a Shieldred Edict. Um, is it worth two damage? I'm not sure it is. I think holding up Fairy Mastermind is better. I'm gonna pump the brakes on that one. We can always, of course, Shieldred's Edict in return. This is fine. See if they'll play something else. Um, Let's go ahead and see what they target with Luminar Aspirant. Alright, so they're going to put a counter on Cleric and then we'll see what this goes on. Alright, in response we will make them sack a creature. They're going to lose something here. Um, neither option is really feeling good for them. Uh, we draw not our fourth land, so that's a problem. Potential two for one trade on Cleric of Life's Bond here. Um, we don't care if they take a commit. We will do a Fairy Mastermind in now. Get that out of the hand. And they might just tax our Peer into the Abyss. I think the correct move is to take a commit because if I can get enough mana to play Peer into the Abyss, it's just game over anyway. And um, I mean, I have two commits, so I'm not really hurt by it, but yeah. Opponent chooses what I think is correct. Intelligent. Um, and now we have to deal with a big cleric coming in. I'm going to not block here. And do I get to keep my fairy mastermind? We will see. Wow, we drew a third commit. So this is just problematic on all fronts. It's a two turn clock now. And if we can just draw one more land, I think we can do it. All 
All right, they're moving to combat. And we take nine. Am I gonna take nine? I mean, I can make that one for one trade with Fairy Mastermind, but I'd really rather that uh, I get to kill it with Orcish Bowmasters. Like, if I can just get them to draw a second card, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing so well for myself. I can kill both their creatures. They scry one. Really wish that was drawing a card instead. Wow, it's just a second Fairy Mastermind. I mean, I can block at the very least. We can make some of these trades. Lead Spellbinder, we are going to do the exact same play as last time where I Fairy Mastermind in response and they likely just take a commit out of my hand. I think this is the point where I'm going to chump with Fairy Mastermind. We'll go to three. We're gonna go to two. I mean, the question is, am I okay just like double trading here? Or trading and chump blocking to preserve my life total? I think the answer is yes. Now this other elite spellbinder in there does kill me, but I'm just counting on being able to draw land. But, ooh, not looking like it's gonna happen. Mind spike, maybe draw a card for myself. Well, we get a land out of their hand, but now we go to three and we can make two blocks on the ground. But I'm thinking that this means that we're just going to be dead, unfortunately, due to uh, land screw. It happens, though. Uh, if they swing in with everything, I am dead. Oh, okay, well, that's another way to do it. Um, they can attack in the air. Okay, and that's it. They know both the cards in that hand, but we are dead. So I think if we had just hit that fourth land there, uh, we would have been fine. We would have committed... Uh, kind of kept the board clean, and then if we ever get to do that memory, basically two Orcish Bowmasters, that's 14 damage. That could basically wipe their whole board. Um, okay, so we had the board set up, just missed the lands. That happens. Um, let's move on to round three and see if we can do it. We're getting closer with every game. Here we go. All right, it's round three. Uh, we really need to try to see if we can get this thing working. Uh, we've been unlucky the past two times. So we have a Nykthos here, no permanence to charge it up, but once again, we're only one man away from a commit, so I'm going to keep it. We have all of our removal, it's just going to be a question of can we play any of them. Same question as last game, we'll see if Lightning strikes twice. Alright, what's opponent on this time? A lot of mono white we've been seeing. Um, I will lead out on a pathway on the black side. Now we have a Slither Wisp at least, so we can put out a creature. This is Mana Weft Slither, so this draw of Fatal Push seems pretty good. Um, Edict is going to just generally be a good card here. As long as we can keep their board somewhat clear, we should be okay. So it is Tempered Sliver. So we can Fatal Push it, and then Edict it. So we'll have to Fatal Push Mana with Sliver now. The next turn has to be a Children's Edict to kill the Tempered Sliver. Okay. Uh, let's get out a Drowned Catacomb. And then, yeah, looking like we'll just Edict this thing at combat. Cloud Shredder, yes, yeah, so we'll just Edict this. Okay, we take a damage from Shredder. <coughs> And now we got four mana. This is enough for commit. It's also enough for underworld dreams without fatal push. I think I want to just hold commit up, All right? Just kind of draw more lands potentially. <clears throat> if I can fix my mana, I'll feel better about playing Slither Wisp or Underworld Dreams. I just need a colorful land, not Nykthos. But if I do play Underworld Dreams now, then Nykthos becomes good next turn. 
having the fatal push, I think I'm okay playing out with Underworld Dreams. Oh, wow. All right, well, we've managed to keep the Slivers board down enough to the point where they don't feel like they can take it. That's good for us. Uh, that was our round three. Let's hop into round four and see what we can do. Okay, we found our round four. We do have our Orcish Bowmasters this time, and we have something to strive for in the hand of Pure into the Abyss. And this hand does cast Underworld Dreams, so feels good. Let's lead on a tapped Catacomb. And I'm thinking that this pathway 100% of the time is going to be on black for Underworld Dreams. Ooh, interesting one. We'll hold up Fairy Mastermind and Orcish Bowmasters for that matter. See if they use this uh, eye twitch for anything interesting. Ooh, this is potentially some sacrifice strategy, okay. Wait for them to attack, and we will Fairy Mastermind in. I'm not going to bother doing anything with uh, in terms of blocking here. And now we got Slither Wisp. That's actually kind of good, too. I'll start to pressure with Underworld Dreams. And we'll get an attack in. I have no interest in uh, blocking or killing any of these creatures right now. Denethor uh, makes a creature if a creature died this turn. Interesting. So we have Slither Wisp plus Fading Hope or variations thereof. Slither Wisp is going to like Orcish Bowmasters coming in, so I think I might just Slither Wisp and Fading Hope this turn. I won't bother to attack. Um, we could just have our opponent draw a card, though I'd probably want to have Orcish Bowmasters around if uh, that's going to happen. I think I'll probably just do Slither Wisp and uh, Fading Hope. No Fairy Mind, uh, or no Fairy Mastermind uh, activation. So Blood Ordus comes out. That's going to become a problem eventually. We can Denethor. We can uh, bounce Denethor is what I mean. So they want to exile my Fairy Mastermind, huh? I think I'll just bounce their Denethor then. Get rid of that thing. And a Shieldred is good, actually. A Shieldred is good, but not that good. Or is it? I don't really know. I'll keep a shield rune. It gains me life. That might actually be useful. Uh, and then let's just get this out. Slither Wisp. Boom. We lose Fairy Mastermind. That's okay. Let's see if they have another thing to block or to kill my creature. Exile makes a pest. Okay. So, Shieldred, huh? Should I just play Shieldred right now? Maybe I'll Orcish Bowmasters look for another card. No, I wouldn't find anything. Shieldred it is. We'll pass and then use Orcish Bowmasters to kick off some draws. Pony takes three a turn now. So that's something that they need to deal with. Denethor comes back. We've at least taxed them enough mana. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. Oh, they just send it back. Sweet. We get some life back, and we can hold Orcish Bowmasters or try to use it now to kill something. Valentine would be a good kill. Blood Artist would be a good kill. I think I'll just wait until my opponent gives me something to do. They take three a turn. This is going to put a clock on them that they need to deal with. So, just a vanilla creature, that's fine. Veto, do I care about a veto? Whenever you gain life, I lose life. 
I think that's okay. So we take two in the air, I'm okay with this. I want to use my Orcish Bowmaster ping somewhere else. Alright, flash. They take a damage. Ooh, and we have Nykthos, that means we can peer into the abyss then this turn. Uh, so let me just make sure that there is nothing that we care about. Um, Blood Artist, does that matter? No, we're not going to be sacking anything. So yeah, we'll kill Valentine. <sighs> we get drained, sure. Alright, go to my turn. And it's going to be a Nykthos into Fear in the Abyss targeting opponent. Enjoy your cards. Alright, and that is a lot of triggers. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, we do need to put these all onto our opponent's face, but they are going to be dead uh, nonetheless. I imagine it's going to take me quite a while to click all this time, so I guess I will just see you guys when I'm done. Alright, cool, they're dead. 70 triggers on the stack. We did it with our Peer into the Abyss combo. Let's go. Um, that was our round four. We got one more attempt to do it. Here we go. Round five coming up. Alright, we're in the final round. We've gotten the combo off once. Uh, we can try to do it again here. We have Peer into the Abyss on our opening hand, and we have an Orcish Bowmasters out with some removal. I generally feel pretty uh, safe having removal out, so I will uh, kind of just chill out. We'll get ready for an Orcage Bowmasters next turn. Um, I think I'll just kill this. That's something I don't want to come back, and then Fading Hope can deal with the uh, mana producers. Let's get a river out, and then we'll kill whatever one drop they play this turn. Assuming it's a one drop. Yay! We do like to kill a Llanowar Elf. We have another play here. Will it be something that I want to kill more than this thing? Alright, Orc Grow Master comes in. We got two power and a dead Llanowar Elf. That is good. Orcish Bowmasters is just a really good turn to play, but I don't think that Historic has that many things that can support the draw um, clause of it. So I gotta decide what color I wanna be on here. I think just generally it's black. Uh, we'll swing in with both of our creatures. And next turn, <laughs> we're gonna be in a similar situation to game one, I believe, where I was looking for my fourth land. Opponent shows a fierce empath, and they're gonna find something. Let's see what they find. Is it anything that I should be scared about? They've got three mana. And they just get the hoof right away, sure. I don't need a fading hope that. We do find our fourth land, that's huge. So we can start to get rid of our opponent's uh, interesting spells. Find another black mana source. We only need one or two blue pips. And I'll offer the trade with my Orc Army, keeping Bowmasters back. They take it, that makes sense. Okay. No attacks, so they're just slowly ramping up to a Crater Hoof. I don't care about the damage, that's fine. I mean, I could also just put my own Bowmasters back, but that just seems weird. Uh, we'll hold up commits. Wow, we got two of them again. Swing in, see if they flash anything in. I don't know why they would hold up this. It's for Collected Company, and we will send that back. Cool, that feels good. Maybe they have multiple Collected Companies, or they were just trying to hold up some flash spell. We're looking for two more mana. War Master is not dangerous. We can Fading Hope it. Realm Walker, same sort of deal. 
feature coming off of Elvish Warmaster sucks, but it's fine. And they're not able to produce a Crater Hoof this turn. I see five mana available. We didn't draw our card though that we needed. I just pass here. I use my flash spells to the best of their abilities. Think it'll be a single fading hope plus fairy mastermind. Well, now it has to be a collected company uh, boop. Just too valuable to let them have one of those. And we take some damage here, but it's okay. If we can just get to the point where we memory or peer into the abyss, we are looking okay. They really don't want to trade here. Surprised. Fatal Push is good for Elvish Warmaster. Now they're uh, hellbent with Crater Hoof. This is a situation where I just sit tight and uh, do what we need to do. They can't cast anything off the top of their library right now. But I think I need to make sure that I Fading Hope Realm Walker and Fatal Push War Master. Okay, so Fatal Push War Master. Good. That fizzles. And they're at six mana. They need eight for hoof, I believe. They're gonna layer the Hydra, sure. That actually would have been better with Fatal Push. Hmm. Maybe I should have done that instead. I'll take the three from it though, it's fine. They go in, I can trade for Realm Walker here with Fairy Mastermind. Or actually, no, what am I saying? I wanna trade for their layer of the Hydra. That's a way better pass. Um, and then I can also Fading Hope Realm Walker. Amazing. Uh, the issue is that Collected Company does come back next turn. So Mind Spike's not good enough. We'll make this trade. And we're just looking for lands, basically. Found the Gyre Reach, that's good. We can Fading Hope something plus Gyre Reach on their turn. That means I get to make a blocker. We'll wait till they play all of their things. Or do it in their end step. They collected company now. We have to let this resolve. Looks like they got a choice, so this is potentially bad. Fauna Shaman, Leaf Crown Visionary, we can basically get a trade here for my Bowmaster's token. So, Fading Hope. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Guy Reach. I'm gonna disc, oh man, but I wanna keep this land though, cause then I can memory. Yeah, memory wins the game, so I can uh, not bother with Fading Hope. Boom. Trigger Bowmaster, kill Visionary. Uh, now I do get a block here on like, I don't know, Fierce Empath is fine. We go to 10, now we go to my turn, and I should be able to just memory. Uh, this is going to wipe my opponent's board. Or I can get triple pings off next turn with a Bowmaster entry and then a Gyre Reach activation. I'll do that, actually. I think that's a bit more controlling of a game plan. And then it also gets me to peer into the Abyss, my opponent, which is a for sure kill. They're gonna play Realm Walker. Sure. Wonder if they'll activate Fauna Shaman. <clears throat> Gala Greeters. They're gonna probably gain two life off of this. Next turn, my memory is lethal. Okay, so now I can do what I wanted to do. Boom. Orcish Bowmasters. Uh, let's just kill the valuable creatures right now, and then we can Gaia Reach, draw a discard. Um, I mean, I can just Fatal Push something, and that'd be fine, but they're going to die anyway next turn to memory. 
So we should have him here. Uh, we'll discard Fatal Push just in case. Trigger Trigger, Fauna Shaman, Fauna Shaman. Alright, and we avoid all damage coming to us here. That's great. And now it is Memory from the Graveyard. We take a little bit of damage to do so, and opponent is going to take exactly 14. Alright, I'll just put some triggers onto the stack here, and then our opponent will be dead. Just need to get like a macro or something for these kind of decks that involve uh, triggers on draws with uh, Appear into the Abyss kills. <laughs> Alright, uh, we got our 14 damage in, and look at how big that orc army is. Amazing. What a good way to end round 5. Uh, we comboed out the last two turns, feels good. Thank you guys for sticking around for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was fun putting this one on. Um, Orcish Bowmasters is a pretty cool card, and I would expect to see a lot more of it going forward. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this deck and what you think Orcish Bowmasters is going to do in the historic format. I think that blue-black was a pretty strong showing for it, but I've got other ideas for it, and um, I'm sure that there are some floating around out there with you guys as well. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like uh, to support me, and if you've been enjoying content and want to see more from me, uh, you can subscribe to the channel. We are putting videos out as much as we can, uh, at the very least every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so stick around for those. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace out, and have a good one.